having nature sing, I'm having nature sing, I'm having, I'm having a nature sing. Oh, hey Saki. Hey Sinky. What you doing? Oh, uh, just, uh, singing. Very nice. How's it going? Really great, Saki. Christmas is so exciting. I love Christmas. Me too. All this waiting and preparing during Advent, and now we get to celebrate. That's right, Sinky. We spent time focusing on hope and peace and joy and love, and now we get to celebrate Jesus's birth. I also love all of the food and the decorations, the lights, the presents. Those are all really great and fun things, Stinky. And a small part of what makes Christmas so great. Christmas is a time of being generous, giving and thinking of others, sharing and bringing light into the darkness. Why do we give gifts, Saki? Well, in the Bible, after Jesus' birth, we read about wise men, or magi, that came and brought gifts to Jesus. Some people think that we give gifts to remember the gifts that baby Jesus was honored with. And some people think we give gifts because God has given us the greatest gift of all in Jesus. At Christmas, we celebrate that God has made a way. Love has come down. That's why you may hear people call Jesus Emmanuel. That name means God with us. Hmm. Let's hear the story of Jesus' birth again, Saki. Sounds good, Stinky. This is how the birth of Jesus came about. Jesus' mother Mary was engaged to Joseph. Before they lived together, Mary found out that she was pregnant with baby Jesus through the Holy Spirit. This scared Joseph. Joseph decided he would break up with her quietly so he wouldn't cause Mary to be shamed in front of her friends and family. He, he then went to sleep and had a dream. Joseph, don't be afraid to marry Mary. She is going to have a baby boy. When he is born, name him Jesus. This name means salvation because he will be a savior to everyone. When Joseph woke up, he did exactly what the angel told him to do. An angel also visited Mary. Mary, rejoice! God is with you. Blessed are you. Mary wondered what was going on here and felt very anxious when the angel spoke to her. What do you mean? Don't be afraid, Mary. You will have a baby boy. Give him the name Jesus, which means deliverance. How can this possibly be? The Holy Spirit will overshadow you. Your son will be known as the Holy One of God. Mary said, Here I am, God's servant. Let it be, just as you say. Then the angel left. When it was close to the time for Mary to have a baby, she and Joseph made a long and difficult journey to Bethlehem. Close by, there were shepherds living in the fields. They took turns watching the flock of sheep at night. Suddenly, an angel of God appeared, and the glory of God shone brightly around them. The shepherds sh stood there, afraid. Don't be afraid. You have nothing to fear. I bring you good news, news of great joy to share with everyone. Today in Bethlehem, a Savior, the Messiah, has been born. Here is your sign. Look for an infant wrapped in simple cloth, lying in a manger. Suddenly, the whole sky shone even brighter and was filled with so many angels. They began praising God, saying, Glory to God! 
peace on earth and goodwill to all. Then the angels in the bright white what the sky. When the angels in the bright light left the sky, the shepherds looked around and said, Can you believe that? The light is so bright. Let's go straight to Bethlehem. Yeah, I want to see what the angel told us about. So the shepherds hurried all the way to the city of Bethlehem. When they got there, they found Mary, Joseph, and the baby Jesus. Baby Jesus was wrapped in simple cloth, lying in a manger. This like the angel said. Then they wept and told everyone they could about it. Mary treasured all these things and pondered them in her heart.